Welcome to my channel. My name is Roxy Leal and today we are doing a pick a card reading on whatever your spirit guys want to say to me to tell you. So I'm labeling this YouTube video, this message will find you when you need it. So whether you're watching this when I put up the video, whether you're watching it in a year's time, a week's time, a month's time, this message that you're about to receive was meant to find you when you saw this video. And I am just channeling a message from your spirit guides and whatever they need to say to you right now, anything that will help, any advice that will help, any words of encouragement or any tough love that comes through, I will be um, speaking to you in this video. So from left to right guys, we have pile one, two and three. Um, so do what you guys need to do, pause the video get into the zone um the timestamps are going to be in the comment section and in the description box and i shall see you guys at your reading hey pal number one welcome to your reading so we are just picking up on any messages that your spirit guides have for you right now um so the tarot cards that we have guys are the queen of wands the empress the seven of cups the four of cups the lovers the nine of pentacles the devil and the three of wands now i'm really picking up guys like there was a time in you guys' life where you were extremely fulfilled, you felt very good about yourself, your looks, um, you very much filled yourself up because I feel like you have very beautiful energy, very fulfilling energy, some of you guys may be healers, um, but I'm just picking up like you guys were, um, and still are, you know, like you guys have a lot to give and when you were giving that to yourself I felt like nothing could stop you you had all these passions that you were excited about and I'm just hearing like you've hit a fork in the road um and this is why this message has come through right now um there's two different things coming through here so just take what resonates um the first path I'm being taken down on is You're in regards to career, because there's a relationship thing coming through and a career thing coming through. I'm gonna speak about the career side first. In regards to the career, if that's what's coming through here, I feel like some of you guys, um, you've kind of tired yourself out in regards to a particular project that you've been working on. There's something that you were extremely passionate about and you, It's like when you first started, you had the right idea, you know, you were doing it because it was your passion um, and that energy was opening you up to abundance and you were feeling really good in yourself and really connected and, you know, everything was kind of investing. But then I feel like you may have worked, worked, worked to the point where you've almost come become dull like to the feeling or like you've kind of lost your passion in some type of way or maybe you have just lost that spark um because it's become more about the work than it was your actual passion and spirit are really calling you to maybe take some time out and just um revitalize your energy so you can move forward with um passion again with this project because i feel like there's a lot of opportunities that are ready to present themselves to you um but it's like whatever you're being handed it's like you don't see the point it's almost like it's either not good enough or you're just tired out maybe you're just completely too worn out to take the initiative to take the cup because it's just like you're tired you know what i mean or maybe there's a lot of um paranoia here you know what i mean there's opportunities that are presenting themselves to you you have manifested in certain opportunities but it's like you're reluctant to take what's being offered because you're worried you know what i mean you've built up like a wall for yourself or it's it's been a dream for so long now that it's about to become reality it's like you you're frightened to take the initiative to step towards this particular um all that's coming through are about to come through and spirit is saying like you need to
fall back and look at things from a higher perspective right now and see why you began doing this and really see either if this is what you truly want or if this is I'm hearing like you've lost your spark. Like I'm really picking up that energy. When I'm tapping into this energy, I feel tired. I feel nostalgic. I almost feel like I have brain fog. Like I can't really speak. Um, so I'm like holding my crystals right now to try and stay in my energy. I just feel like you guys are really tired. Like I'm just picking up tired and like the spark is gone. And it's not that it's gone. It's just like it's dim. And the reason it's dim is because you put so much energy into this project or this whatever it is that you've been working on that um you haven't given enough time to yourself and spirit is saying you need balance with life you need balance with everything and if you're just putting all your energies and like energies into this project that's great that you put all your passion there but when that's the only place you're putting it you're neglecting yourself and you, that's affecting your ability to have that spark of um excitement or creativity so spirit is saying if you are hitting these blocks because i'm really feeling mentally fuzzy right now i feel like that's how you guys are feeling if this is in regards to the work side i feel like spirit are really calling you to uh maybe step back a little bit and um have some me time and some self-love time and then maybe um pick up where you left off or just maybe slow down a little bit now for the relationship side guys i mean you could have both it could be to do with work and relationship but i'm picking up like there is somebody in your life that you guys still speak to um or you meet or you're still in contact with or you know however it's playing out and i feel like you've been either back and forth with this person sometime or you've really had a soft spot with this person for some time but there's almost this energy of like you know almost like this isn't someone that you should really be talking to or you know on a soul level like this isn't really someone that you should be ending up with i feel like you're putting a lot of energy into this person they're not really giving much back um to you the way that you deserve um and i feel like a lot of this connection the reason i'm feeling like it's more mental like um maybe you guys text a lot or something is because i'm almost picking up like a fantasy element like yeah you speak to them but it's like a lot of the connection it's kind of like and for the other person too it's almost just like it, it's there's an element of fantasy you know sometimes when we step into a situation with somebody and we really really like them and we almost have this kind of idealistic approach where we're like um you know, they could kind of do us dirty or they could do something that we don't really like, but we'll kind of like write over it because we really, really like that person. And I'm just picking up a lot of energy towards that. Like, there's somebody in your life that doesn't really give you a lot back, but it's like, it's almost like the connection's in your head a lot better than what it is in real life. And I feel like you're still kind of like connected. Or maybe you guys don't speak anymore, but you're still stuck in the past of this situation and there's a divine counterpart that's ready to come in there's new opportunities that are ready to come in but it's like you are turning your back to them you know there's all these opportunities coming in but it's like you're turning your back to them because you're either connected to this person from your past or this person that isn't giving you much back um and you're just not interested in in anyone else coming through them because it's just like your mind's on that person and um Spirit are really calling you to really look at this situation. Like, is this what you truly want? Um, Spirit are really calling you to look at this situation. Like, maybe take some time out from the situation and really evaluate. Okay, is this... Like, write down everything that you want in a person. And then maybe um, really see if this person ticks that list. You know? Because um, I feel like there's... I'm hearing false promises. Like, this person makes you a lot of false promises. It's almost like they sell you a dream, but then they don't really come through with it. But you just see the light in them and you want to kind of stick around. And Spirit are really saying, okay, you know, maybe it's time to kind of step back and maybe like broaden your horizons. And, and maybe step back and really think, okay, is this really what I'm getting? Because I feel like you're putting a lot of your beautiful energy into this person or this situation. And it's not getting reciprocated. So then you're becoming drained or this situation's all you can really focus about and um spirit are really calling you to kind of step back and look if this is something that you truly should keep stepping forward with because i feel like there's an element of almost fantasy here you know 
Um, and then the other cards, guys, we have is Fulfillment. We have Caution. We have Health. And we have Lust. So what I'm really picking up, guys, is evidently what all of us truly want is fulfillment. We want to feel fulfilled. We want to feel happy. And I feel like the message that's coming through here that you guys really need to hear is your fulfillment comes from yourself. So whether you correlate to the work side of this, whether you correlate to the love side of this or both, no matter what you put into work, and the money you get back or no matter what you put into another relationship if you are not giving that energy to yourself first and fulfilling yourself first you are never going to feel full you are never going to feel satisfied you need to fulfill yourself and your cup up first you know what i mean instead of chasing success and chasing money and chasing love you guys really need to fulfill yourselves and you will do that by following the voice of your soul for, you know listening to what your soul wants meditate what do you truly want you know what i mean because a lot of the time we can say like um for example we can say um oh, i i truly want like a car i want a range rover but truly what we don't actually want is the range rover because the minute we get it, it just becomes a part of uh, of our possessions and we're used to it what we truly want is the fulfillment that it will bring that we think it will bring when we have it you know what i mean you go buy a rolex or i don't know some new crystals it's not that we truly want these physical objects or even this relationship that we may be longing for it's the fulfillment so maybe you know maybe look at why you're attracted to this particular person because if they're not necessarily giving you everything back on paper you need to look at what is it that i want do i want this person's validation and if I do get this person's validation, why do I want it? Is it because I'm not giving it to myself? You know what I mean? Um, why do I want all this success and money? Like, is it because, you know, that's like my dream? Or is it because I want to prove that I'm worth something? Because you're worth something anyway. You tell yourself that you're worth something. The money does not. So it's like, Spirit are really calling you to look at what it is that you're putting all your energy into. And have a look if what you're truly focusing on right now is your soul's desire. Because it could be that you're on the right career path. Because I do feel like a lot of you, if it's in regards to work, you're on the, the career path for you, a lot of you. But it's like you're focusing on the wrong element. You know, maybe you're starting a YouTube. And your main focus is the subscribers and not the message that you're getting out. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm picking up an energy like that. It's like you're getting lost in the sauce almost. And it's like, whoa, like they're telling you to take some time out and kind of refrain back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my windows are quite wide open. It's really early and I like the breeze to come in. Um, and that motorbike literally goes off every morning so apologies but um yeah they're kind of saying like you need to kind of pull back and really look at um why where you're going and why you're going in certain directions because the reason we have the caution card here is i just feel like if you're if you're looking at the wrong things then the wrong type of opportunities might present themselves to you you know what i mean you might Say now you were just focused on the money, then an opportunity could come where it meant you had to put your creativity in a box, but yet you get loads of money and maybe you'd sign yourself away to it and then you'd be getting all this money, but you wouldn't be feeling fulfilled because truly you wanted at the beginning this chance to express yourself create creatively. You know what I mean? And now you cannot and you've kind of sold yourself short. So Spirit are really calling you to pull back you know what i mean come back and, and think because i feel like whatever it is is really affecting your health i feel like whatever it is you know you're not i feel like some of you guys aren't paying attention to your physical health or maybe your mental health you know i feel like a lot of you guys are working yourself to the brim i'm being told and it's just like you need you need to take a rest your body needs a rest you need to listen to your energies and slow down and really fill up you know your cup and really take a nice nice long bath and you know just really look after yourself i really feel like you guys need to look after yourself and maybe take like a week off um and really think about okay what is it that i truly want maybe dissect you know um 
what is the meaning of why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know? Because you see a lot of YouTubers, they say that when they start YouTube, it's like, it's all about the creativity and then the subscribers go up and they worry a lot about the subscribers and, you know, making money and whatnot. So their creativity almost like burns out because they're running to the demands of their subscribers and not doing what they should be doing to really express themselves creatively, which is why they did it in the first place. So you hear that a lot. So it's just like, maybe just take a rain check spirit is saying um and then we have lust i feel like this person that is in your life maybe they may be like um just kind of like f buddies you know what i mean like i'm kind of picking that up or maybe when you guys do see each other there isn't much that other than sex you know what i mean like i'm just kind of picking that up but it's like almost like you in your head are like no we're still gonna be together because this person still says oh yeah i want to be with you and i want this and i want that but then you see each other and it's just kind of the same type of routine or they just kind of still fall back and do things and it's, it's like you are attracted to this person there is a lusty energy there and they're very attracted to you but it's just like really have a look if there's a lot of substance coming through here because i just feel like if you're not in a relationship with this person, maybe ask why your spirit is saying, and maybe that's not something that you want to hear or even look into right now. But maybe ask yourself, okay, well, why? Am I, what you know? Why are we not together? Because for some of you, I'm hearing like you've known each other a while. It's like, okay, well, why aren't we together if we've known each other this long? You know what I mean? Um, I feel like some of you guys are waiting for somebody to clean their act up almost, and it's just like spirit are calling you to not stay stagnant in this situation because you 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 know you do deserve more um and then the oracle cards guys we then have is squirrel spirit believe in yourself and we have vulture spirit nothing is wasted so i do kind of feel like you guys think that if you um if you guys fall back for like a day or two in regards to the work or you know take like a week off i feel like you think that things are gonna just fall to pieces and they're not like they're really not going to um everything happens in divine timing and everything that's for you is meant for you so don't worry about taking a week off and then you know falling behind like that's not even an option like nothing is wasted what's for you is always going to come for you you know what i mean what's going to happen is i feel like you're burnt out now you know what i mean you really need to look at your health right now that's that's the main thing because if we're not in if we're not looking after our health we're not in higher vibrations and if we're not in higher vibrations we're not going to be on the um energy level to receive a flow of abundance and that's what spirit are kind of saying they need you to look after yourself to reach that point to where creativity is flowing back and forth um and I just feel like with the squirrel card, you know, you see the acorns and stuff. It really reminds me of autumn. And I feel like in autumn, a lot of, you know, squirrels, what do they do? They hibernate, you know what I mean? And I'm just hearing like, maybe it's time to go into a little bit of a hibernation. Maybe it's time to maybe just, you know, take it easy on yourself is what I'm being told. Um, I'm really picking up that, like the hibernation type of energy is kind of coming through where it's like, okay, it's time to rest now. You know what I mean? get ready for spring <laughs> there's a lot of abundance to come in spring and i don't mean like wait till march or whenever february whenever spring is but like um they just mean it's okay to fall back now for like a week or two because spring will be here soon you know what i mean and by spring they mean like the new energy will come in soon you know what i mean um and i feel like some of you guys think you've got to work 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 because it's just a part of you here that's just like kind of like maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe, you know, what I'm doing isn't good enough. And Spirit is saying everything you're doing is enough. Stop thinking that. Like you've got to stop thinking that, you know. And with the relationship side of it, I just feel like you think that if you step away from this particular person that you're attached to, that nothing else will come in yeah something else will come in i i you know i feel like you've fallen into that pattern for like stop thinking like that because i feel like this connection is actually kind of holding you back and if you open up to new energies then um i feel like someone new will come in for you like a divine counterpart but you've got to let go of the past to bring in that future energy and i feel like with a believe in yourself card i just feel like 
you don't believe that maybe you're worthy so you're waiting for this person to tell you know it's almost like you put your worth on this person's validation on this person's energy and i've been there like that's nothing to be ashamed of or anything like i've literally been there myself but it's just like you need to find that light inside of you and i feel like taking a break from this situation and kind of spending some time getting to know yourself and um fulfilling up your own cup you will be able to find that light within you and you won't need this person so much because i feel like i don't feel like this person is the best person for you i'm sorry if that's not something you want to hear um and then we have the hermit card obviously retreat and, re and recharge like very self-explanatory basically what i've been saying whichever side of this that you will correlate into i feel like it's time to go into the cave a little bit realign spirit is saying realign and really meditate if you don't meditate definitely start maybe some scripting just writing down your feelings of what you truly want and dissecting what you truly want and just connecting with spirit if you guys do know how to do that you know connecting with your higher self and spirit and just your own energies and getting to know yourself maybe and, and being taken to nature maybe go to nature um go for a walk a lot be in nature animals you know what i mean the beach if you have a beach run by you i'm really picking up that that will be really therapeutic for you some of you guys maybe even therapy i feel like just talking would kind of like help you guys i feel like some of you guys like to talk about it and if you don't then definite scripting is what i'm being told and obviously of course the next card we have is mirror guardian take time to reflect yeah really take time to look at what it is that you want and look at how you've been going and where you can adjust and what the purpose of what you're doing is and you know if it is the relationship side then you know is this person really treating me right is this truly what i want you know am i really being fulfilled here i want a relationship am i really you know ready for a relationship you know what i mean really look into that because i just feel like there's an element of codependency coming through and spirit are really calling you to look at what is causing this you know what i mean um and then we have the magic guardian and lock the magic within like i was saying guys um you guys naturally have a very bright energy and a very vibrant energy and you do feel very good about yourself when you're in your own energy and i just feel like you've given away some of your power whether it's to work or whether it's to a relationship and spirit are just like you don't understand the powers you possess you possess so much power and it's just like if you got back to yourself and you called that energy back to yourself you would literally be unstoppable and you would just be feeling so good and fulfilled in yourself so by doing that coming back to yourself you really will be unlocking that magic and i just really feel like a lot of doorways would open up for you guys so spirit are really calling you to really retreat right now and fall into that energy um and I feel like that will be really helpful for you just to realign. I feel like realigning is... It, I, I feel like if you guys are feeling burned down, you clicked on this for reassurance. Like, that's what Spirit is saying. You need to realign. Realign your energies. Maybe they're telling me to, like, change your room around. If you if you live in a house, like your own house, maybe change your house around. Change your living room around, or your bedroom around. And, you know, if you live with parents or whatever, change your room. Change your room around. Do a spring clean. Get rid of the old. Like, I'm really being called for you guys to do that. Or switch up your routine as well is another thing switch up your routine change things about a little bit and you'll be feeling a lot more fresh um so that's all i have for you guys today i hope this was able to bring you some clarity please don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed thank you for letting me read your beautiful energy and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i hope you guys have an amazing day and hopefully i'll see you guys soon Hey pal number two, welcome to your reading. So we are looking at what messages and energies that are going to come through and help you guys today with whatever it is that you guys may be going through. If you guys need an ego boost, if you guys need an uplift or just any clarity or guidance at this time, we're going to see what messages your spirit guides have for you. So guys, you have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Sun in Reverse, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands and Judgment. Now, this is very much telling a straightforward story, guys. I do feel like there was a business idea or a particular project or just something that you guys worked on and have been working on for some time that you have really put a lot of energy into to be honest with you and I feel like you were either given options or there was just like a lot of options that kind of came forward as a result or there was like different pathways that you could have gone down and I feel like you guys went through a particular door 
and it didn't really work out for you or maybe like you haven't really seen the results of your hard work yet and you guys are feeling really disappointed there's almost this energy of like you feel like you failed that's the energy coming through like you're like oh i feel like nothing's you know this thing that i've been working on it's it, it's not gonna work like nothing's letting up like i'm just this is a lost cause like i'm hearing you, some of you say it's a lost cause and just feeling really disappointed disappointed um this could just be a relationship or something you're working towards but i'm just picking up like there was something that you really thought would manifest in a completely different way um than it has but straight up guys sorry guys my camera cut out there but like i was saying i feel like you guys are taking this as a loss but the minute that i channeled this energy the first word that came up was the well the first two words that came up were divine details like this actually isn't a loss it just kind of looks like it i'm hearing blessing in disguise something's fallen through or something hasn't worked out in your favor that you are viewing as a loss but spirit are like no because i want better you know what i mean um I saw this like quote on Instagram and it literally was just like oh, what did it say it said something and it was like you're settling for what's happening right now in your life like you're settling for I can't remember whether it was like career relationship like related or whatever but it was like you're settling for something in your life but and you're wondering why all these obstacles are being put in front of you, but it's because you deserve better or there's better coming. You know, like you hear these stories of like celebrities or something and they were supposed to get um, a deal come through or they were they really wanted this particular role in a job um, in like a, in a TV show or something and they don't get it. And they were so upset that they didn't get it, but then like a week later, they got an even better role and if they would have taken the first role, it would have meant they would have had less pay or it would, they wouldn't have been as successful as when they took the role that came afterwards. So it's like, you need to trust in that and really, really, you need to trust in it because I just feel like with the four of wands here and the five of swords up top, the five of, the five of swords usually talks about like, you know, kind of like walking away from something, like dropping your sword and walking away from something. And it's just like, spirit and calling you to do that like at all um but maybe there's a different path or approach that you could take that would lead you to greater success um that's what spirit are kind of saying here i feel like right now because there's something that you had your heart set on and now everything's kind of feels like it's up in the air everything kind of feels like it's been thrown on its head and with the sun in reverse it's just like you almost feel like you don't have any clarity like there's no clarity Maybe you guys put money into something and didn't get it back. Maybe you guys just put your energy into something and didn't get it back. Or maybe just something didn't light up, you know, as hard as you were working on it. And Spirit are just like, there's more coming in for you. You just need to stay optimistic. Spirit are really calling you to stay optimistic because I just feel like there's something, like, literally, I'm being told there's something right around the corner coming in for you. And what i'm actually picking up with the six of pentacles is that there may be someone that will come in to help you it could be a friend or it could be like a lover or a relationship but there's just someone coming in that's really going to help you and it's not for like any gain of themselves they're just going to be like you they're going to be like maybe like a part of your soul tribe or something and they're truly going to come in and help you um maybe financially i'm picking up maybe financially this you know the six of pentacles usually oh god the six of pentacles usually talks about um finances so i feel like you are going to receive abundance or help in this situation but you need to stay optimistic um and with the king of wands and judgment what spirit really are calling you to do right now why they're saying optimistic is because they want you to manifest you know what I mean? I feel like some of you might already manifest and they're saying work with the moon cycles, you know? Maybe do a new moon ritual and script and write what it is that you want. Um, Spirit are really calling you to manifest um, what it is that you want. Um, for those of you that don't know what manifesting is and the law of attraction is, basically it's when we use our energy field and use our mindset to create our reality with our mind because everything around us is energy and we're able to attract things in by just visualizing what it is that we want and believing that it's true and spirit is saying do not let these setbacks 
you know, do not let these setbacks hold you down. Like, I, I was hearing the song by Cardi B, um, Get Up 10, you know, and at the end of the song, she sings, look myself in the mirror, I said, we gonna win, knock me down nine times, but I get up 10. Like, that's the lyric, and I'm, like, hearing that over and over. Like, sp like sometimes the universe tests us to see if we really want something by maybe putting challenges or something in front of our path to see if we truly want it. Um, so some of you that is the case and then others of you is just like a divine detour like you're being taken somewhere a lot better for you um, in the same field but just a lot better for you the fact that we have the paint in here maybe some of you guys are like painters and you you know maybe you guys like to paint or draw something to do with art and you haven't um, got where you want to be yet you know what I mean maybe it's to do in the artistic fields like music creating i'm picking up a lot of creative energies i feel like there's a lot of entrepreneurship here like you guys are trying to set up a business for yourself it's possible you are going to reach it but it's just like you want to make sure you're settling for the best of course and if you could see what spirit is seeing you'd understand why certain things are working out but it's you know as human beings we don't really see from a higher perspective and the fact that we have you know judgment here when we look at the right away usual version and um, this talks about people looking up to spirit um archangel michael to you know really help them and they're kind of rejoicing and i just feel like there's a lot of spirit guides around you there's a lot of there's you've got like a spirit team around you that are really helping you right now um but you've just got to i just keep hearing keep going that's all i'm hearing keep going and stay optimistic keep your shine you know what i mean because you have a lot to look forward to but i just feel like these setbacks are happening for a reason and spirit really wants you to look at the bigger picture and just not um worry so much because divine divine details are a thing guys you know what i mean i feel like maybe there's some other things that you need to learn before reaching that abundance or maybe there's just a better offer for you i do feel for a lot of you it's you know there's a better offer and they don't want you to do you see how they're crying here over these three cups that are spilled but then there's two cups that are still up spirit is saying come on you still got your two cups like you still got your two cups keep going keep going keep going you know what i mean i'm really i'm really picking up that um so then, guys, we have ostentation, we have resourcefulness, yeah, we have discovery, and we have affair. You guys are going to really hit, like, an aha moment, you know what I mean? Like, over the next couple of months, I just feel like, or even weeks, actually, I said months in the spirit, but, like, weeks, so maybe over the next couple of weeks, um, you guys are going to reach, like, a bit of clarity, you know, and that sun card will come in the upright, where you just you see things a lot more clearer and you're just going to be feeling a lot more better and happier and you'll understand why certain things have worked out the way that they were supposed to. So maybe something will come into fruition for you over the next couple of weeks. Um, but I'm just really picking up like right now they're telling you to um, embody like the Taurus energy to kind of keep your energy and keep your wits about you and bide your time I'm being told. Um, and move slow and steady you know what I mean slow and steady wins the race my favorite saying um so they're really calling you to do that and don't look at other people around you at what they have spirit is saying you're doing that a lot you're looking around like oh look what they have look what they have don't do that because you are you you know what I mean and your blessings are going to be your blessings and your creativity is your creativity and your gifts are your gifts and no one can make them you know what I mean so don't look at other people keep your eye on the prize and keep your eye on your own energy and with resourcefulness I feel like spirit is saying be careful with your money a little bit and be careful with your energy you know what I mean be careful where you're putting it are you feeding negative thoughts are you feeding low vibrational thoughts are you going to put them into higher vibrational thoughts and i feel like you will put them into higher vibrational thoughts because i do feel like you're going to see things from a higher perspective soon and really see why things have worked out the way that they were and with the affair card i do kind of feel like there is somebody that that will come in and help you guys i don't know whether it's a relationship if you're already in a relationship maybe this person might be able to help you or maybe just a friend will come in and really help you guys with what you've been going through right now and just kind of give you guys some clarity so the next cards we have guys is be playful and oh my god i literally just said look at the bigger picture and you have see the bigger picture oh my god <laughs> so with this i'm hyper spirit be playful i feel like spirit it's calling you guys to stay in more lighter energies right now you know what i mean it doesn't have to be so hard work you know to the point like you guys can 
you guys can really i i feel like you guys may have a migraine because i'm getting a migraine as i'm speaking it's going to just be because i you know i'm, I'm up really early <laughs> but um for some of you guys you may be suffering with migraines maybe due to stress or something um but with be playful i'm just hearing like you need to stay in lighter energies maybe go out and have fun and just spend some time in in different energies um switch up your energies a little bit but i'm just hearing the more playful you get and and just optimistic you get the more you'll see the bigger picture you know what i mean the more you'll feel lighter in yourself and be able to see things from a different angle so spirit are really calling you to do that maybe go out with your friends and maybe just like chill you know what i mean place the manual crossing i don't know like whatever you guys want to do just you know chill and just um i feel like some of you guys do play animal crossing because i don't know why that came to my head <laughs> I, I just got shown animal crossing in my mind so maybe you, some of you guys like that and you play it i don't know um and super mario kart i don't know why that came through <laughs> um yeah so maybe just do some you know stay in some lighter energies you know what i mean don't take things so serious and what and because i feel like it's causing you to worry and have migraines because i am feeling a migraine coming on right now and then see the bigger picture i just really feel like they want you to look at things from a different angle look at things from a different point of view look at things the way they are you know maybe connect with spirit and see why this is happening you know what i mean because i feel like some clarity will be able to come in there maybe the person that's going to help you is your spirit guide you know what i mean maybe get in contact with them and see what's going on and then we have of course trade our exchange energy to create abundance again law of attraction they want you to work with law of attraction they want you to work with um your energies i feel like you guys are actually really good at manifesting and spirit are really calling you to use your energy to manifest in what it is that you want and focus on the positive you know side of things it'll make it come in a lot quicker so definitely focus where you're putting your energy into that's very vital for you and then we have elder move beyond ancestral patterns so i'm picking up guys like you guys are undoing a lot of karma from your family lineage so i feel like you guys may be born into like a lineage a family lineage that maybe um suffers with like a lack of wealth you know what i mean that may not be as abundant as um they could be or maybe they just have never chased their dreams and they've settled for less and you are now chasing your dreams and i feel like this is why it's coming down so hard because whenever we're breaking an ancestral they call them ancestral curse i i feel like that's such a negative term so i like to say ancestral pattern as well like the card but i just feel like when you are breaking these i've had to break these as well guys so i know exactly what you're going through it's hard you know what i mean it's hard and there's a lot of trials and tribulations that come with it that you know a lot of people in your lineage weren't able to kind of get back up from but you have fighting spirit and i really feel like you are going to break these um patterns that your family have kind of had whether it was staying in a situation that they didn't like a uh, job that they didn't like and not pursuing their goal or whether just coming out of that like lack mentality you know what i mean because our brain is rewired like when we're in when we're a child our brain is wired to um our brain is wired to kind of mimic what we see that's why you always see a lot of like the poor staying poor and the rich staying rich we're wired to follow what we are taught and the way that a lot of people will achieve success especially when they come from poorer um backgrounds or backgrounds where there wasn't a lot of money was to change like not change like well yeah change that outlook but rewire their brain you know what i mean and if you guys are having trouble doing that um i don't know whether you'd be interested but i do have a video on my channel it's called what they don't tell you about the law of attraction um the secret to the law of attraction and i basically talk about rewiring your brain and changing your memories so you almost like expect abundance and i will be talking more on it on this channel but if you are looking to do that as soon as possible go into my um playlists and the playlist where it's like law of attraction spirituality and more go into that one and that um particular video will be there it's one of my earlier videos and i speak about it from my perspective and i just you know maybe that can like leave you like a little bit of a bread breadcrumb for you guys to go follow the trail somewhere else but it's a real thing guys i feel like you guys are really learning to rewire your brain and expect abundance instead of lack or expect your plans to kind of go through when a lot of your family may have had plans but didn't go with them because they weren't the practical route i feel like what you're doing may not be the most practical route but 
it's very very doable because you came here to actually break what it is that was holding you know the family kind of like lying back really um so i feel like that's why it's coming down quite heavy on you because breaking ancestral patterns is not easy business so you guys are g's like you guys are hard and i respect you a lot and then the final card we have guys is sage be devoted and committed i mean that kind of goes without saying really spirit are really calling you to keep your eye on the prize you know what i mean um stay in your lighter energy stay in your brighter energies because that's who you are i feel like you're very bright beings in general and i just feel like spirit are really calling you to stay in your lighter energies you know um really work with law of attraction spirit really wants you to walk work with law of attraction and manifest and they're really calling you to to do that right now so definitely look into that um but that's all i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed um please like comment and subscribe let me know how this video was for you thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and thank you for letting me read on your beautiful energies um i hope i shall see you guys soon um i thank you guys for watching have a great day what you guys need to hear right now what messages from spirit need to come through what do you need to hear so guys we have the four of cups the magician justice the three of wands the six of pentacles the eight of wands the three of cups and the five of pentacles so guys what i'm being told here is there's a particular manifestation that you really have been working on for some time um and you've really there's like a goal that you've been trying to reach there's a manifestation that you guys have been working on bringing it into fruition and i just feel like it either hasn't come in yet or it's coming it's coming in very slowly you know what i mean and i'm just picking up on somebody that's just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting but it's like you're missing the beauty that is around you right now do you understand what i mean like do you see how this guy is like looking off to the distance he's kind of like waiting for something but there's all like nature around him right now and flowers blooming and it's just like your manifestation will come spirit like right just get this out quickly so they can stop worrying your manifestation will come okay <laughs> whether it is to do with you know just like um self-development you know beauty whether it's to do with fitness whether it's to do with a business idea whether it's to do with money a relationship love whatever it is that you are manifesting it is going to come in okay um the energy that you've put out it has been seen i'm hearing it has been heard and it's going to come back to you but why don't you guys enjoy the process because the more you wait in anticipation the slower it's going to take to come in because the universe works in a way of you put out a mentality of lack the universe will give you lack you put out that um you're going to have a soulmate in six months time the universe is going to hear oh six months time okay and uh, it's always going to be in six months time you know what i mean it's never going to be now unless you you know you kind of have no one around you and go yes i'm in a relationship with my soulmate and the universe will hear i'm in a relationship with my soulmate and will bring your soulmate to you because that is what you're saying you're you're speaking your reality whereas you, if you're like waiting and you're focusing on what you don't have and oh you know like i really want this car that i'm trying to manifest and i don't have it yet the universe is hearing i don't have it yet so the universe is making sure that you don't have it yet because the universe doesn't know right or wrong it just picks up on energy so if you keep waiting and worrying the universe is just going to give you more things to worry about whereas if you stay balanced like the little scales here if you stay balanced and ready for what it is that's going to come in it's then going to come in you know what i mean so spirit are really calling you to do that and i feel like it's i feel like you guys tend to overthink a lot I, i'm picking up a lot of gemini energy maybe you guys have mercury in like virgo or gemini a lot of like third house placements but i'm just picking up this energy like you guys are very like here and there or you guys just may be um quite airy you know you could have a lot of libra and aquarius could have a lot of air signs maybe an air moon but um i'm really picking up this energy like you you're always thinking you're like ah ah you know you're thinking about money where you can get money from or how, to, how you can make money and like a new idea and this and that and it's just like spirit almost calling you to like work on your root chakra and ground yourself because that will make it a lot easier to bring in abundance for you you know what i mean um 
I'm really picking up this energy. There's a lot of abundance ready to come in, but it's just like Spirit are calling you to maybe lay some foundations. The fact that we have the balancing skills there and there, like they're really calling you to get balanced. You know what I mean? Balance yourself, balance your mind, body, soul. Spirit is saying, you know what I mean? Um, oh, sorry, guys. Um, they want you to meditate. They want you to call your energy back to yourself. They want you to be in the present because you guys are very futuristic. You could have a lot of Aquarius energy. Um, you guys are very futuristic. You're always looking forward. You know what I mean? You're always looking to what's next. And even when you guys do receive abundance, I'm being told, you're like, okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Like, it's like you don't give yourself a pat on the back for what you do end up achieving. You're always looking to the next. And Spirit are just like, stay like be grateful for where you are right now you know what i mean trust the process um trust the process of where you're at right now you know what i mean because what would be the point spirit is saying of having everything you desired in your hands straight away there would be no journey there would be no learning there would be no character development you would just have and that would be it and you know sometimes i don't mean to like talk down on anyone but you know sometimes when you see and this isn't all people with money like i know people with money and they're really lovely and very humble but you know sometimes when you see um like bratty kids sometimes and they have kind of had everything that they've ever wanted in their life maybe their parents or something didn't have money growing up or maybe their parents were just like they wanted to give them the world you know what i mean and rightfully so but sometimes like kids can adopt adapt this kind of personality as they grow older then of like entitlement of like um they adapt this kind of energy of um they almost expect so there's no real character development there and spirit is saying you're learning right now character development if you just had you know like maybe like a spoiled kid on christmas if you just had like that there would be no what would be the point spirit is saying like you came I, i'm hearing that you guys are souls like came here to learn how to manifest and trust the process and i feel like you guys may be like higher energetic beings because in usually the higher realms we don't have to wait so long for manifestations we can almost like manifest something straight away we click our fingers and we can create something and in the earth realms we're a lot more denser and it's very slower because we're more in the three dimensions so when we manifest it really can take a lot of a longer time and i feel like your souls are just not adjust to that for some reason like you guys just don't like that at all and um you're learning i feel like you guys may be even your old souls but new souls to earth or you just like um you are just very higher frequency being so you're not used to having to wait <laughs> and spirit is saying trust the process you know what i mean trust the process and i feel like sometimes you guys worry about the lack sometimes you guys worry about um what you're losing because i feel like something that you've been working towards like when you're working towards a goal when you start to wrap up that goal and come to the final kind of fruition of it or come to the final kind of end before you receive your manifestations there's a lot that has to like fall away for that to come in and i feel like a lot of things may have had to fall away in your life for these manifestations to come in and you guys are kind of like upset over the past or upset of something that you feel has kind of like left you but really it happens so new can come in you know what i mean and spirit are really wanting you to rejoice in everything that you have and the people that you have around you and just really rejoice in where you are because that's going to bring your manifestations in a lot um quicker but they really want you to stay balanced and really stay present you it's almost like you're in the spirit realms you're never in your physical body and even if you're not connected to spirit like that you don't work with spirit like that like you're always in your head imagining and creating that you're never in your physical body and in your man you're trying to mass manifest things in the physical reality but spirit are like they're trying to manifest in the physical reality but they're rarely ever there <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like you're not there to catch your manifestation sometimes because you're so in your head and spirit is saying to get out of your head and balance your energy a little bit more the fact that we have the two scales um and then we have fulfillment we have innovation we have devotion and we have resistance so I really do feel, guys, I really do feel, guys, with a resistance card, I feel like you guys are holding on to something from the past that is blocking a particular manifestation from coming in for something that you want coming in. And Spirit are really calling you to let go or let go of the wounds 
that caused this situation you know what i mean there's something that you're still upset about that you you either realize it or you don't but there's just something from your past that you like um you need to let go of you know what i mean i'm not really being taken to what it is for some of you guys it's a relationship but some of you guys really need to let go of past disappointments and really focus on your future you know decide we have the sun and the moon here so it's like decide decide do you want to focus on the light of the dark decide you know what i mean do you want to stay in the past and move towards the, the brighter future like it's up to you and then with innovation i really feel like you're really crafting yourself right now like you're learning the ropes of something i don't know whether you're starting a business but you're learning the ropes of something or you're just working on yourself self-development i feel like you guys are maybe changing your style changing the way that you think there's a lot of rewiring going on here like you're on the right track you just need to stay balanced but there's just a lot of change like i feel like you guys have shifted a lot in the past year i'm seeing a lot of shifting and when that happens it can cause everything to be thrown on its head and we're not as grounded as we were because the universe to clear out our old energies needs to get rid of them it has to come up to the surface and then just a lot can change then you know what i mean your appearance might be changing your physical appearance and then just your mindset the way you speak there's just a lot of change going on here and i feel like it's hard for you to stay grounded but what's really going to help you is to stay grounded and not focus on the past you know what i mean and when this um when i just looked at the um timer it was on 10 10 and uh, 10 10 is an angel number that talks about like new beginnings new opportunities you've reached the final end and now you're on a new pathway of life and i'm really picking up that so really just keep walking on the path that you're on and stop focusing on what you've lost start focusing on your future and then fulfillment with the sagittarius energy i'm just picking up like they want you to stay optimistic and stay excited and stay in these brighter energies you know what i mean um that's really what's coming through here let the universe take you where you need to go you know um and then we have the dear spirit bring a gentle touch and we have spider spirit make your dreams real you know i was telling you about to trust the process with the spider the spider creates the web bit by bit and that's what i'm being told like you're creating your web right now so trust the process of creating that web trust the process of creating what you're doing you know what i mean because it's really going to be worth it you're making something beautiful there's a lot of creativity in this pile and um spirit is saying really trust that process of making your own web you know and with bring a gentle touch spirit wants you to go easy on yourself um ground yourself look after yourself and go easy you're very hard on yourself very hard on what you've lost you're thinking about what you've lost you're thinking about certain you know things that have happened stop thinking about the negatives you're really really hard on yourself like i said there's a lot of gemini and virgo energy here i do feel like you guys are overthinking quite a bit and there's no need you know so really just um be easy on yourself stop worrying like everything's gonna be okay and then hold a space i just feel like spirit is saying you have your dream in mind keep focusing on that and just enjoy the nature and everything around you you know what i mean hold a space like you as long as you believe that your manifestations are going to come into fruition you can detach detaching from your manifestations is actually what brings them in you know letting go of that desire actually helps bring them in because you're no longer detached and it just becomes a part of you so definitely detach your emotions from it you know what i mean like believe that it's coming in and then detach um, that's actually the best thing to do when you are using law of attraction spirit are calling you to do that and then trust and thrive trust in yourself i feel like you're overthinking yourself so much that something isn't going to come into fruition and it really is like you've got to trust you've really got to trust that the universe is going to provide you've got to really trust that you have done the right work to make it happen you know what i mean you've got to trust in yourself um spirit is saying because it's really you're in for a lot of abundance there's a lot of change coming in for you guys um and then we have guardian angel you are not alone spirit are really working with you really really strongly guys the fact that there's um the three there and then we have the three of cups up above spirit are really working with you maybe there's like three spirit guides that are really strong around you right now um but whatever the case you have a big spirit team around you right now that are really looking after you maybe some of you guys are seeing white cards as i'm being told i'm also being shown coins if you guys are seeing random coins um around the house or just about like i'm really picking up this is for a select few of you you're seeing coins and the reason that you're seeing little coins everywhere 
is because that's your univer the universe's way of just literally saying to you oh my god you know i'm literally just saying coins wait no wait this has actually sent me hang on oh my god i have a five pence coin which is like uk currency on my floor and i don't keep cash on me and i have no idea why it's there it was not there this morning i'm gonna keep that there wow guys i oh my god i can't believe that's come up you guys are seeing coins like you guys are seeing coins everywhere and you, you, like this is only for a few of you but i just feel like the reason that you're seeing this is because spirit are kind of like dropping little hints like little breadcrumbs like it's coming it's coming you know what i mean because when we're manifesting and we're using the law of attraction what usually happens is it's not gonna if we're looking for something big it's not gonna come in straight away so say now we want like a big house um it's not gonna come in straight away this big beautiful mansion you know what i mean we'll step closer and closer and spirit will kind of like maybe show you an ad in like a magazine or like show you this big house or they'll put you closer and closer or show you little breadcrumbs that you're getting close to your manifestations and i feel like you guys are seeing coins you guys are seeing coins and um that is the universe's way of saying it's coming stop worrying it's coming that has just sent me wow wow that has just sent me okay <laughs> so yeah that is all i have for you guys your manifestations are coming in do not worry um yeah that is all i have for you so thank you for letting me um read on your beautiful energy make sure you guys stay balanced please it will help your manifestations come in um i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video um i'm sending you guys so much love um and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching